twin? Uh, are you still there? It happened again. Everything just went really dark. So dark, the light bulb doesn't even light it. Alright, I kind of don't want to close the game anymore. It's like really freaking Nico out, so... Also, yeah, okay, we're in freaky music place. In the, uh... Is the curvature of the, uh, the, the light different? No, that's the same. Okay. This place is too ominous, man. Alright, let's go in this one. of words are on the screen. I don't understand any of it. The luminescence index of liquid red phosphor decreased by a factor of 3.5% this past week. Alarming, to say the least. That's the sharpest decline I've seen, and the number is only increasing. We will have to further concentrate the phosphor now, for it to be of any use. It's hard to believe, but there's a good chance the city could run out of light in as little as six months. What are we going to do? The city runs out of light, well... I don't want to think about what happens then. I'm... Not even gonna talk to me? I'm literally holding the sun here. I mean... No, alright. Yeah, they are spending a lot of uh, phosphor on uh, streetlights that uh, nobody's really using. That is... Pretty reasonable point you have there. Oh, a switch with five thing jobbers. Halt! Please await further instructions on the security test. Please speak to the door robot. Sure. In order to gain further access to the labs, you must pass the security system test. The... huh? You must change the color of the lights into a specific configuration. Allow me. Um, how do I solve this? That is part of the test. Bummer. So, yellow, blue, green, red. Yellow, blue, green, red. But uh, five of them. So we can't enter the uh, color code at the very beginning of the game. That was only four colors. Same colors, though. Do we have any other relevant notes for that? Probably not. Just the uh, red, blue, green of the uh, markers. That's only going to be three. Locked. Um. It's a big metal box with complicated machinery inside. Kind of like those ones we saw in the Glen. This one has a robot in it. It may help you to go one color at a time. Management. One color at a time, huh? Lots of papers on the ground. Beep, boop. This is the printer room where machine parts are made. Also, robots. It can also help to write down previous attempts. If all else fails, wait for the puzzle to reset. Maybe I'll get an easier one next time. So it changes. One color at a time. Write down previous attempts. Is there anything else down here? Is this another exit? Yeah. Hmm. 
one lights correct. <laughs> okay, so we're playing Mastermind. Alright. But with five and we don't uh, get as much information? I think Mastermind had more than four colors to work with, though. I think it had like six. doing uh, all pillar sets. I mean, that's useful. It uses four of our ten guesses, but then we get to know exactly how many of each color there are. I'm not sure that's great, but uh, we'll, we'll uh, worry about it for now. Let's see, we don't have any overlapping. Red is R, yellow... Blue, okay, so we don't, we don't have blue and black. Basically, I'm like figuring out my notation. B can be blue. Two. And we don't need to do the uh, fourth one, actually. Right. Because we know that uh, there's going to be one red. Okay. Um. So there's two blue, and one of each of the other colors. No positional uh, information on top of it, huh? That's uh, that's kind of rough. I don't know that this is a good guess, but we will uh, try. Okay, we know at least one of the right two is blue. I would say it's most likely from that, but not guaranteed that one of the left three is blue, one of the right two is blue, and neither of the right two are green. Seems questionable, but we're gonna do it anyway. Ooh! That's something we want to see. Zero lights correct. That's way better than two lights correct. That's really good. So, the two blues are in the middle. Probably one of the left two. Uh, let's see, do we try for any other zeros? Or, uh... so, I mean, we've got a zero baseline, so we can adjust from here to get corrects if we wanted to. Like, we could lock in blue, probably. Or we can just try to guess, uh, get other things correct at the same time. Let's see. Yeah, this one's super likely to be a blue. I don't think it's actually guaranteed, but let's see. So if that's not a blue, then so there's two of the three middles are blue, so the other two would have to be, and that is not possible. Yeah, so that does actually have to be blue. So one of the other two middle ones is blue, 
And uh, that means neither of the right two are green. For sure. Instead of just likely. So one of the, uh, the three left is green. I'll just, like, circle that from the previous uh, clues a little bit. And yeah, we know the uh, middle one isn't green, so one of the, uh, the left two is green, actually. And uh, then we've only got three options for the yellow remaining then as well. So that's uh, middle or edges for the yellow. Okay, we should be able to get this with our remaining clues, probably. So that's blue for sure. Um, oh wait, and this one's... Did I already switch this? I guess I did, right, because I started switching it off with blue. It's like, why is this green already? It's freaking me out. Okay, so one of those is green. And uh, this one's not yellow. So this is either red or green. Oh no, that one could still be blue. That one could still be blue. Let's make that one blue. Let's uh, call this one yellow and that one red. Okay, so only one of the other four is correct there. That's uh, the worst number, I feel. So we probably just switch to at this point. Like red and yellow could be switched. And that gives a lot of information. Do we switch both pairs or one pair? We probably only switch one pair. Is that enough information fast enough though? Well, if we switch one, we lock in yellow, for sure. And we mostly lock in... Wait, what if we switch yellow and green? No, we don't do that. Because green's already... We actually already know where green is. Don't we? Yeah, we know green's here. So blue's here. Yeah, we actually already mostly have this, don't we? Alright, so that's that, and then... Uh, this. Yeah, this is yellow and this is red. Uh, well, I screwed something up. So green had to be one of the uh, left two, and then we tried... Oh, because green could have been the one that was correct. Right. Green did not have to switch. Right. I made that assumption. I'm like, oh, well, if we switch it, then it's beautiful. So yeah, I didn't actually want to do the uh, switches I did. I wanted to do one uh, single switch, like I originally planned, but that's okay. We'll work with what we... Uh, what we just did here. Yeah, because then we swapped everything else. That would that would be valid. So why don't we uh, swap uh, red and yellow? Okay. Interesting. So like everything's wrong. All right. Um, we. I, we probably have enough information to solve it if I just apply the information properly here. But yeah, so we know there's one yellow, there's two blue, there's one green, there's one red. We know the uh, the fourth one has to be blue. We know the other blue has to be the second or the third one. We know the green one has to be the first or the second one. Um... And... We know some other things. <laughs> <laughs> uh, let's see. We're, uh, we're staring at a piece of paper down here is what we're doing right now. <laughs> Playing Mastermind, basically. <laughs> Alright. So, it's pretty dang likely that the, uh, the far right one is yellow. I don't think it's actually guaranteed, but it seems... Based on the fact that we only had two on the two ones with red there... We should be able to figure out more definitive information than this, but... I mean, if we screw up, we can do it again and have better, uh, better guesses next time. Uh, did we just need to swap these two? And make this blue and this green? And then leave this red? Let me, uh, just set this in place and then, uh, ponder it for a second here. 
Um, yeah, sure, let's do it. That's gotta be the information I need if I just figure out how to use it, though, right? I need I need a better way of uh, processing this information. I, I, this puzzle is probably guaranteed to be solvable in ten, if uh, we were better at making the correct guesses. It might not be guaranteed. I think it is though. It seems it seems like a limited enough uh, question space to uh, be able to get there if you know the right questions to ask. Um, we did not ask the right questions, though. That's, uh, you know, not, uh, not so good. So what if yellow was right in the middle, like, way back, and everything else there was wrong? That's impossible. Yellow cannot be in the middle. Okay. Because then blue would be over to the side. Yeah, okay. So yellow cannot be in the middle. So we know yellow is on the, uh, the far left or the far right. Green is on the uh, one or two slot only. Wait, what? I just tried one that was guaranteed to be wrong. Dang it. The double checking sucks. <laughs> this this could not have been correct because green was right here. That's not a legal, legal clue. Well, I mean, it's a legal question, I guess, if we're trying for more information. We could put blanks in there if we wanted to, but that was not the intention. See, the funny thing is, like, we've, like, botched this badly enough, if we just, like, started over and went through it, we'd probably just get it done faster, but I want to see if we can still get there with, uh, the, uh, information we have here. There's, there's two, um, I guess, let's say, questions we have that, uh, okay, we know red's not in the far right from that, because, uh, there's, uh, two of them that only had two responses, blue is in the correct place, so that's one of them. And green was in the two different valid slots, so green had to be one of them in at least one of those, and red was in the far right, so red's definitely not uh, far right. So red's one of the uh, first three. And then the second blue's in the second or third. This, uh, like, actually is, like, now making me think of, uh, something like Sudoku. It's kind of, uh, hitting the same sort of, uh, logic there, to some extent, because we've got, uh, uh, in Sudoku it would be three, uh, numbers that are filling certain, uh, possible slots and such. Alright, so we've never tried red in slot two, and we've never tried it in slot three. Uh, that's maybe not the best. So, let's look at the other colors first. Red's a... It's a little, uh, little more out there, but like if we figure out any of them precisely, then the other ones all just fall into place. Is there any that uh, are not possible because of overlap situations? So if uh, green is two, then blue is three, then. Red is one and yellow is five, so that's five. Wait, am I saying yellow five for all of these? Uh, red three, blue two, green one, yellow five. Yeah, I think yellow actually has to be five. Because wherever red is in those three slots, it ends up with yellow and five. If red's in one, green's in two, blue's in three, yellow's in five. Okay, so yellow has to be five. So blue cannot be in two, blue has to be in three. Um, and red cannot be in one, so red has to be here, so green has to be here. Okay. I thought we could get there with the information we had. It was just a little harder than it should have been because we asked the wrong questions. <laughs> but uh, we got there, we got there. The security system has been temporarily deactivated. Would you like to reset it? I don't think I want to go through that again. <laughs> Squares are killing a lot of robots, it looks like. My robot! 
What happened? I don't know. I left for a minute and... What am I gonna do? Please do not approach... Squares... Stay away from squares, kids. Squares are dangerous business. And if uh, someone offers you a rhombus, you get the hell away from them. That can only mean no good. Oh, we just go up to another place that looks like the place we just came from. I mean, it is supposed to be kind of a generic sort of factory. And that actually makes sense, I suppose. But... Robot. <sighs> this is so tedious. I miss the good old days before a robot repairing robots broke down. Now all the robots have to be assembled by actual people. But aren't you a robot? No? I mean, do I sound like a robot to you? Not really. But your head is a TV? What, what does that have to do with anything? Never mind. I mean, I, I, that's, that's fair, Nico. I, I had half of the same assumption, like, it seemed like a logical assumption, but it also didn't seem to quite, uh, uh, parse fully the way people were behaving. We should probably fix the robot repairing robots first. But the higher-ups need these guys done first for some reason. I cannot stop spitting. We Boop. We are waiting to be repaired. This one isn't active. Boop. We are waiting to be repaired. These robots are malfunctioning at a frightening rate. Physical damage from square particle anomalies is almost impossible to revert. No living person can touch them, unless they have a death wish. But if we're lucky, sometimes the squares go away on their own. But not before taking away one of the robot's arms, or legs, or head. Okay. I don't know if you've ever seen a headless robot before, but it's quite a sight to behold. And also quite dangerous. keep my eyes open, man. How does Dr. Silverpoint get all that energy? Hey, it's Silverpoint! Somewhere. Probably. Hmm. I wonder what the author would do in this situation. Dr. Silverpoint usually references his works. It's a a shelf full of little machine parts and tools I don't recognize. Coffee machine. This one's almost empty, too. Warm pot of coffee. None of us have been sleeping very well in light of recent events. The square particles took out a few of my robots last week and... She fell asleep. She's still asleep. It's a bookshelf. There sure are a lot of computers here. And they look important, too. Baron's engineer just reported another sighting of the particles in the cliff area. Well, nothing unusual at this point. I'm picking up some more disruptions in Sector 8 of the city. This is consistent with our earlier findings. Mm, not good at all, not good at all. Ah, these square particles just took out two of my robots in the Glen. 
We might have to put off the water analysis project for now. Man, I kind of wish I had water to give her now. <laughs> 52. We, we had water from the water analysis project right there. Although that robot did collect a lot of water. Monitoring. Monitoring. That's all I say is monitoring. <laughs> I'm gonna press all the buttons. I'm like a Zoltan. But I must resist. Press all the buttons, Nico. I, or I command you to press all the buttons. No? But on this one. Hello? Okay, so Silver Point looks like exactly like uh, the tamed robot we were calling Red, I think. Um, do I give her the same voice? Um, <laughs> I'm just a little, little thrown off that uh, she looks the same. I mean, if they're both robots, I guess that uh, makes some sense. But, um, I mean, in that case, if they look the same, they probably have the same voice. I, I guess probably just makes sense. Oh, shoot. If I had known you would be here so soon, I would have turned off the darn lock. Hello there. Sorry about the weird security measures. It's okay. Twinch helped me solve it. Did they now? So, can I help you with anything? Yeah. Do you know how I can get a library card? <laughs> it's like, hey, I'm the Messiah, I'm carrying the sun, how's it going? Um, you're a pretty important busy scientist, I just came all the way here, had God help me with uh, some puzzles to get here. Um, I would like a library card, please. A library card? You'll have to ask the library for that. I tried. I needed to see the head librarian, but I can't go to get to see her without a library card. But, at the same time, she's the one who gives out library cards. Really? <laughs> that sounds like George, alright. I'm sorry you caught her on a bad day. Oh. Wait, I know. I can just give you my library card. Won't be hard for me to get another one. Wow, thanks! There. You're all set, I think. Wait. Shoot. I forgot. The front desk library bots have facial recognition. Okay, so we do still have to make our own library card. We just, uh, you know, are, are like halfway there. And my photo on the card won't match you. Unless I tape a photo of my face to your face. Um, that was a joke. Who knows, maybe you'll get lucky and the robot will take it anyway. Worst comes to worst, you can always find somewhere to take a photo. It's a shelf full of little machine parts and tools I don't recognize. Something is poking out from the shelf, though. It's a tube of glitter glue. You can have that if you want. Never know when you need to glitter things up, right? <laughs> We're gonna have glitter on our library card. Alright. Oh, are you sure? I yeah, I have tons of those. Thank you. So, you've been walking all over the world, huh? Mm-hmm. Jeez, I, I can't imagine. Do you get really tired sometimes? Kinda. But I don't mind. It's actually really pretty! Haha. <laughs> I'm glad you think so. Even with the sun gone, the world is still a beautiful place. What did the world look like with the sun? Oh, uh... You know... It's kind of embarrassing to admit how little of it I've actually seen. Oh? Ironic, isn't it? Even though I'm the world's leading researcher, all I do is stay here and build robots. They're the ones exploring the world. I just write down the data, crunch numbers, generate graphs. Right. I've been seeing robots everywhere. 
I just thought it was because the world was too dangerous for most people to explore. That's not far from the truth, actually. But I know someone who still does his research firsthand. Oh? Even after segments of land started collapsing and access to the more remote areas became difficult, I mean, he outright built a machine that could fly. Something we all thought was not physically possible. Oh, that's... I asked him about working with us, so he provides us with all sorts of insights from time to time. But for some reason, he really doesn't, didn't want to build robots. Or more specifically, coding them. How come? Beats me. I mean, he's happy to work with robots. In fact, he even... Uh, it's been a while since we last talked. Like everyone else, I'm going to emphasize it's been a long time since the author's been around. He must be busy with his books now, yeah. Can, can, can I show you the book? Don't overwork yourself, okay? Your journey is just as important as your end goal. Cliché, but true. Oh, this is Kip. This isn't Silverpoint. Oh, no, it's Kip Silverpoint. Same, okay. That. There you go. There you go. Um... Okay, she does have... Okay, I was gonna say, freaking Red gave us that. Oh? I... That's... How... How did you get this? The robot lady in the Barrens gave it to me. She looked... Kind of like you? I see. <sighs> It was supposed to be such a breakthrough, you know? I even based her on myself, so I'll know it works. Ah. Breakthrough? We wanted to build a robot that acts like a person, thinks like a person. A robot that isn't bound by its own code. Oh. But turns out, you can't really build something like that. Too many contradictions in the code made her unstable. That was the only time I've ever seen a robot go rogue. Scariest day of my life, tell you what. Rogue? But she seemed so nice when we talked. Even if she talked a little weird. Ah, uh, she's been repaired for some time now. My friend was able to stabilize her volatile state through her own means. A real miracle worker, that. After he was through, she ended up turning out just like how I wanted. But the damage was already done. I gave up on her back then. We all did. I'm sure she realized that, too. Now she won't ever come back. She won't even answer my letters. I'm sorry. Uh, sorry for rambling. You should hold on to that amber, okay? I will. Which way did we originally come? Oh, we must have come from down, because that's the only way we can go. Alright. But, uh, yeah, here's the, uh, the camera where we insert the, uh, uh, lenses. But we don't have the, uh, information on the lenses yet. Uh, the glitter glue, I assume, is with the library card, too. I assume we're, uh, like, paste using it to paste our picture onto her library card. Another walkway at the initial hub? Otherwise, well, here, yeah, let's just go this way since we, uh. Yeah, there aren't that many choices in Justin, it's true. We could just, uh, brute force it. 
I did uh, actually consider that a little bit, like, because the game has an auto run option and you could just be walking at uh, this pace by default. I, I did, I was like, man, I don't want to, like, trip and drop the sun, but after playing for a little while, I uh, accepted the fact that uh, we weren't going to drop the sun and uh, just turn on auto run. Oh, okay. That goes back here. Fair enough. Oh, we can't actually go back up. Hmm. Was it blocked by the square? Oh, the squares just popped up when we were in. When we were riding it. Mm hmm. Well, I mean, the sun turned off at one point, and we were still, uh, still fine, so it'd probably be okay. Yeah. Oh, dang it. Alright. That's mostly what I came back here for, but I guess once we're already here, we might as well, uh... Hey, I can navigate! I actually remember where things are. Let me actually talk to this guy again, too, real quick. Put it in water and you don't, uh... Okay, so we can't, uh, just put that in there right now. At least not without, uh, more water. I didn't know to just fill it up at a sink somewhere or something. Actually, well, while we're, uh, still here, why don't we, uh... go to the unknown places first, I suppose. So, I don't think we've actually been up there, but there's also something... Yeah, there's in this building we haven't been in. Okay. It's a big fish tank! <laughs> whoa, whoa, hey there! You have a lot of fish! Yeah, I'm worried about them. Oh? I heard something about how the square particle stuff just took out a major pipeline. I guess I should take advantage of the running water while I still can. Hint, hint. Nope, not looking forward to that water shortage. I can refill this tube with more water here. Wait, where'd it go? Oh, up here. So, uh, put the pill in the water? It dissolved really fast. Medicated water. Gonna offer it to him to help his uh, water problem. Maybe. Don't know how well it'd work on fish. Might just, you know, kill the fish, but uh, I'll, I'll offer it anyway. Is that like, it's like a robot town crier wearing a beret and an oven mitt? That's, uh, that's what I see here. That's what I see. Evening news! Evening news! Are you here to purchase a copy? No. Newspapers are for grown-ups. Grown-ups? Yeah. What does that mean? It means people who aren't kids. Kids? Er... Uh, aren't you a kid? I am a robot. Right. No. Uh. Evening News Bulletin! The library released several new books by the elusive author last week. The head librarian recommends them. The assistant librarian had no comment as he reportedly fled the scene sobbing. The receptionist had no comment either because the receptionist is a robot. Good thinking, Twinch. 
This water should really help the seed grow. It's spread at a tiny leaf. Oh, right, now it's got a leaf. Let's uh, try to sun it. Good luck, little plant. Okay. So we can't uh, sun it, but it's uh, it's growing. And just while we're here, just try to stick a feather in it for good luck or something. Hey, the uh, the bottle is gone, so that is indeed its full use there. Needed, needed uh, the the most extreme song from the uh, Undertale soundtrack to uh, to go along with this. Is anyone gonna tell us anything about lenses? Let's look more closely at the other vendors here, maybe. What if we start showing them the lenses? Burnt sugar. I guess that wasn't the right combination, Twinge. Brute forcing that doesn't sound terribly fun, so we're gonna keep uh, poking around. Okay, and the computers are still not on here. Robots still suck at shelving books effectively in a time consuming or a time efficient manner. Anything. I mean, we can show the library card, I guess. Maybe we need to do that to actually progress. It's like, know that we need to paste our picture over it. I mean, she already suggested we paste our picture over it, so I kind of thought we could uh, skip that part. Authenticating barcode. Executing facial recognition. Photo match. Failed. It seems you do not resemble the owner of the card. You cannot use this card. Bummer. Well, I'm glad they aren't uh, confiscating at least. <laughs> 